Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. This is a custom diecast here in front of me. This is the Casey Kane 2006 Las Vegas Race Win Elite. Um, this is a custom diecast that I had made out of an old uh, Elite that I was able to obtain for under 20 bucks. Um, kind of on my quest to get all of Casey Kane's NASCAR wins. Um, they made a few, or most of the cup ones. I've got that. I've got everything that's made so far. I've got a few customs that have been done in the Cup Series, um, and then I've got a few in the Xfinity Series that have started to get rolled through as well. Um, still got a few to go, but uh, we'll get we'll get them all knocked out at some point, and I'll have the whole group. So can't wait to get it done. But uh, anyway, uh, the box is just a basic Elite box. I don't have any other details in it, um, so I figured I'd just leave it um, in storage where it's at, and we'll just go through the diecast here. So. We'll get up nice and close here. On the left side, you can see it's a standard paint scheme. We got the standard ragu. You can see all the dirt that we, or I shouldn't say we, I didn't do this. Uh, all the dirt that's in on the rims here and on the tire. It's, you know, for the race version, you see a little rubber and just some race detail up there. Uh, the number nine, you can see it's pretty clean down the left side. As you see on the left rear, you can see some of that rubber stuff uh, from the burnout, just from racing. Um, again, tires all dirtied up. On the left rear, got Casey Kane up there. Um, I don't remember. Yep, it does come down. Uh, winter net does come down. We do have our steering wheel, radio wire, all the details inside. Uh, the wheel does turn back and forth as well. And then you can always pop that window net right back up there. Um, I think I gotta do it this way, actually. There you go. Push it up in there, and then it's all locked in place. So, nice tight window net. Uh, roof flaps do deploy. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one open if I can. Um, because I kinda wanna show off... The, um, oh goodness gracious, come on now. I'm having a little trouble here. Come on, I'm going to flip it upside down and pull on it. There we go. So there's our roof flap with the two little tethers on the back. Um, both roof flaps do have that detail. Um, there's no detail on the roof for race winds. I didn't have a camera or anything up there, so it's just your basic roof. There's not, you know, a ton of race detail to it. Uh, on the back, we've got Regu, Whisk, and Hellman. And then up here we have Slim Fast, Wishbone, and uh, Country Croc. In the back we got a couple of tethers, a brace on the right side, and then the whole entire fuel cell is in there. And the individual spokes on the spoiler as well. You can see those on there. Um, go to the right side. You can see we got Whisk, Ragu, and then a little bit of detail around this right rear, but fairly clean. This whole race was fairly clean. He didn't get a bunch of donut marks or anything crazy like that, um, which is why this one wasn't really that hard to do, but that's, um, you know, beside the point. Uh, the rest way down the right side, I think that says 25. Uh, Bush Series 25th anniversary there. You got Bush Pull Award, number nine again. And then you see on the right front, there's a little bit of marking right up here. Um, and of course the wheels all dirtied up from uh, the racetrack same thing down here on the right rear You can see kind of where that stuff's dirtied up uh, From the race detail uh, you get over to the front oops, let me back this up a little bit uh, You get over to the front we got our front end here the Dodge Charger nose with all the rubber build up on the front That's all uh, you know obviously custom done then on the hood You can see ragu and the, the little bit of rubber build up and stuff at the front of the hood not as much at the back fairly clean But uh, up at the fronts where all the details at um, for that one and then we got the silver Dodge Charger uh, grill plates. Um, those are obviously standard for the elite cars. They would always have those uh, little grill plates in there. Uh, let's see if I can get that hood to kind of pop open. There we go. There's our elite race or the elite uh, engine detail. Uh, you can see all the different hoses and wires in there. It kind of puts the 2020s to shame uh, or anything past 2007. Uh, you can see all the detail in there. Ragu under the hood there, but. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I've got eight, eight to ten wires in here. You can see there's four over there. The orange one that runs up there. A uh, couple of silver ones. Eight more, or eight total blue little wires that run around through there. So tons and tons and tons of detail there. Uh, let's go underneath. you got DIN number 192. You can see some of that build up underneath the car from, uh, from the tires and doing the burnout. Um, that's also kind of the cool thing is the customs, they can actually do that. You can see the, the, the marking and stuff that comes off the car and, and does dirty up that chassis. You can see all the detail up here underneath the engine, all that stuff packed in up front there. Different wires, engine, different hoses, lines, and stuff that runs through there. Um, working rear suspension, working front suspension. The one thing about the Elites is you can see it does sit rather high on the nose, and it doesn't really come down. And that's just because they got so much stuff piled in them. The rear actually does move up and down, which is kind of cool. But the, the front is kind of stuck on some of these just because of 
how much stuff they pile into the the engine compartment and stuff and some of the shocks will get like jammed so uh, overall it's just another solid elite to add to my Casey Kane collection I figured it'd be a good counter or a, not counter a good addition so I could do two reviews today with the uh, Alex Bowman car which will be coming up in a little bit um, that was what you guys voted on for the car you wanted to see first so the Alex Bowman car will be today and it looks like at the moment the Chase Elliott truck will be tomorrow uh, it'll be a two-part video so stay tuned for that um, but make sure you turn on the notification bell if you haven't already that'll notify you when any of the videos go live uh, subscribe if you're new I have daily diecast videos videos, race reviews, and different uh, NASCAR content, working on, um, uh, I guess, narrowing the channel, not narrowing, f feeling out what the what the channel will, will become and what it is now. I, I, I'm liking where it's at, but uh, there will be plenty of changes kind of coming along, so uh, no, or definitely subscribe and turn on the bells and come along for the ride. Um, but that'll pretty much wrap it up for me. I don't have any other announcements to go with that. Um, I'll have a Kansas pre-Kansas uh, pre weekend video coming up soon, uh, probably tomorrow or Friday, so... I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next DieCast Review.